were several folks who were asking, how could you possibly move away from that beautiful view of Mount Fuji? Well, actually we didn't, we're actually closer. <laughs> it's <laughs> twice as big as it used to be. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. I would imagine we're gonna have some snow on it. I'm guessing probably about the 1st of October. Today is really, really dry. And if you look, you can see up there, it's a little bit, ha actually it's really hazy because of all the wildland fire. Today is, I think we're gonna be in a red flag warning. They're saying that we may have the worst fire conditions in the last 50 years, 80 mile an hour gusts and such. So I'm gonna go home and we got the fire engine all fired up and things ready to go. But uh, there it is, that's the view from the house and from the new homestead. I'll take you down to the water. I'll tell you a little bit about that and then we'll, uh, we'll head on back home. Here's a view looking to the north. You'll see Mount Fuji there. And this is the river uh, that runs through our property. Actually, this is a border. Um, the property on the other side does not belong to us. We have a little over a half a mile of river front, meaning that that makes up our northern border uh, of our land. It's, um, this is, uh, it runs year round. It's a full fledged proper river, uh, salmon, trout, steelhead. I've been told by the locals the fishing is quite good here. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. Some folks ask why it was so muddy. It's actually not muddy, it's glacial. Uh, glacial rivers, meaning that they're fed by the glaciers up on the top of the mountain, are always a, a, a brownish or a green color. There's a lot of minerals and, and silt washed down as it comes down the mountain. If you see a river that's clear, typically that's spring fed from a spring. So that's the difference. It's not dirty or filthy or stirred up or muddy. It's a glacial river and that's kind of the way it is. It's exceedingly cold, not too far above freezing and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful river. Uh, folks ask uh, about hydro potential. Uh, no, uh, water rights in the West and river access uh, is very, very tightly controlled, especially when you're talking about fish bearing streams. Uh, you don't uh, touch the rivers, you don't mess with them. We have um, a lot of timber and trees that have overgrown that we will manage and trim, but we'll not be doing really anything with the river uh, other than just fishing in it and enjoying and sitting by it. There's nothing that it, need, that it needs doing. It's, um, it's quite lovely uh, as it is. So. There may be an exception for passive hydro. I don't know. I'll look into it. I don't know. Maybe a guy could do a water wheel, something that doesn't really affect the fish stream, uh, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, it's not, not likely. Um, is the water drinkable? Well, as drinkable as glacier water can be, probably better than some of the stuff we have in Michigan, uh, but of course you'd want to filter it. Uh, some other folks ask about canoeing, kayaking. Yes, actually world-class, some of the best uh, in, in the world. Uh, we'll be sharing that with you too. We just have so much going on with the move. I can't, uh, I can't even begin to scratch the surface uh, of what uh, we have access here to. So I hope this kind of explains a little bit why we decided to make the move. You know, it comes down to this is that um, I think that uh, America as a whole is, is going to be in decline. Uh, we've reached the high water mark and I don't think things are going to get better. I'm not fearful. I'm not worried about it. It's just uh, those of us that are people of the book or people of the faith, we knew this was coming. It's time to get prepared for it. So for us, we wanted to have land and be in a place where we can get our family together. You know, Mrs. W and I want to, while we're still capable, to make sure that we provide um, a home and land for um, uh, Jack, as well as the sweet loaf. Uh, we're strongly, hopefully encouraging our family. Uh, my parents are, you know, even considering, you know, n nothing's, definite yet but uh, ultimately we'd like to have all of our family it was a hay truck uh, here together uh, on this bit of land or at or nearby uh, with like-minded people this is a community that um, is very capable of uh, feeding itself uh, in any situation without any inputs from anything else timber um, farmland some of the best farmland uh, in the country like-minded folks it is, uh, it's the whole package. And that's why we, it took us a long time to find it, but that's why we're here. So I'm of course a little bit sad, you know, leaving the other place, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, and I, it, you know, it's, I, I don't know. You can make arguments for both ways, but it just, for us, it just made it make, made more sense. And um, that, that's kind of some of the reasons. So 
we all have a lot to talk about in the future and uh yeah, well that's probably enough for today please keep me in your prayers pray that i can get some uh healing on this injury and so i can do the work that i need to do but uh that's it thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video